Okay. Will this meeting please come to order? Oh. Oh. Um, oh. We, uh, I am passing out a copy of the draft agenda. One thing I want to make note of immediately is that um, upon consultation <laughs> with our Gracious hostess, our gracious host, Mimi Rosenberg. The adjournment time should be set to 9.30 p.m. and if there's no objection, we'll just do that. Is someone going to move to adopt it? It's not for you. No objection? Yeah, move the agenda. I know that we approve the agenda. Uh, can right, I have so a second that we approve the agenda. We got to get it um, from this jerk. And you said <laughs> with a uh, 9:30? 9:30 sharp. 9:30 sharp? Yes. Exclamation. Yes. Okay. All right. Is there any objection? Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, amendment? Yes. Yeah. I move that um, the, amend the agenda be amended so that between four and uh, between five and six, uh, we add an item for a motion concerning allegations of WBAI having paid for a slate mailing. So that would be five A. And that would be. Is there a motion regarding that? And that would be yes. just fifteen minutes. Allegations. Motion regarding allegations. Uh, that WBAI funded a, 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 a slate funded paid for a slate mailing. That would be number five A. Is there any objection? Yes. There's an there's an objection. Yes. Um, okay, somebody keeping time here? Twenty minutes for this agenda item. I mean the second Okay, I, I have one. Okay. I have time Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's an objection to adding this. Are, is there any other amendment? No. Okay. So the person who objected to this amendment, I guess the person who proposed it should speak first. Seven thirty-five. Okay. So the meeting was called to order at what? Seven thirty-three. Seven thirty-three. I have thirty-one, but. Um, we'll call it 732. We'll call it 732. 732. Yeah. All right. Bob has the floor. Okay. Um, yeah. A very serious public allegation has been made that WBAI. Into the mic, please. A very serious public allegation has been made that the that WBAI um, paid for the expenses of one of the slates running in this election to do a mailing to the WBI membership. And I I think that uh, we need to consider a motion about this matter in order to in order to clear this up. Okay, the person who objected? Uh, well, this is just more grandstanding by the uh, faction members who are hoping to gain... Point of order. Yes, point of order. Yeah. It's not a point please, of order. Please object without without speaking to people's motivations. Okay. You know, whatever the motivation may be for bringing the motion, well, there should be a substantive okay. reason. Oh, all right. Regardless yeah. of motivation, this is clearly grandstanding by faction members in order to gain uh, some kind of perceived advantage in their public relations campaign and in, in their smearing and lying <coughs> in, in order to continue I'm their sorry, domination of the I'm sorry, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. You uh, are a bunch of hypocrites. Me. I have the floor right now. You have you have uh, no right Robert to be Schools here. You will be gone soon. To speak Thank in terms you. of lying. They're here. We'll see. They're here. It is it is a breach of Robert's rules of order to accuse other members of lying. So please refrain from this. I will ask every member to refrain from accusing other members of lying. I'm not accusing lying anyone of lying. I'm saying you're you're misstating facts. Okay. Any, does anybody else wish to speak to this? No. Can we 
Yes. All those in favor of add yes are Paul. Yeah, the um, uh, we should hear the motion. If we're going to put something out, we should hear what this motion is. Because it's a possibility that um, given the uh, great attention to detail that's paid sometimes, this could be out of order because the LSB is forbidden in the bylaws from doing certain things related to elections. And uh, something that could be interpreted as violating that um, would be out of order. So I think it would be proper for us to hear what somebody wants to put on the agenda at least. Well, I, I think it may be proper to have perhaps a bit more detail, but we don't actually bring the motion at the time no. that we're putting it on the agenda, number one. Um, well, I'm not even going to go to the next that next thing about what is proper for the LSB to do, but we do have oversight responsibilities. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the station. Chair what happened this? to the station? Is the chair debating this or what? No, the chair is clarifying a point with regard to the bylaws. Oh, sounds sound like debate to me. Yes. Uh, okay, the motion reads as follows. The WBII local station board requests that the Pacifica chief financial officer report as soon as possible to the local station board on the facts concerning the billing and alleged payment for the justice and unity mailing by WBAI. So there you have it. Okay. All those in favor? I would just say a few words about the motion. I would just say a few words about the motion. All right. Please come to order. The member has the floor. Thank you. I think that uh, partially in answer to what was said earlier, that uh, this is absolutely irresponsible. Uh, this was done. Point uh, of order. Precisely. There's a point of order. Point of order. order. Line. What? We are discussing an agenda item. We're not discussing the contents of the motion. Uh, yes, we are. We're, we're discussing, Ray, what we're discussing is a motion to put this on the agenda. Oh, I, am I allowed to give a rationale for putting it? Yes, but some have been given this. Is the point of information? Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll read it. Okay, okay. We're in the middle of a vote. Oh, all right, no, all right. No, he's, he's we're, 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 we're good to go. Okay. All those in favor of adding a new 5A motion reallegations at WBI paid for a slate mailing, please raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All opposed. One. That carries. All right. Uh, Madam Chair, I have a, a point of information. Yeah. On our e-list this morning, I asked if anyone could bring in any financial re reports, the ones that have been that were asked for by the Pacific Board in their motion of September 30th. In which they re in which they did not approve our uh, budget, and specifically the reports that they asked for were stuff like Memphis reports, cash flow reports, income statements. Uh, I was wondering if any of those were forthcoming at at tonight's meeting. And and just as a word, uh, in, that's not a. This is. Are you? Uh, we're we're, if, we're if working I on the could, agenda right I now. Could, Do you want to add something as an agenda? Well, item? if we have some information, yes. I that would, would like be a to. finance committee report. Well, I don't know whether it would be or not. I'm asking if those if those reports are here. I think we should we should set aside some time to talk about that. If they're not here, as they were not here at, at the finance meeting last week, there's really not much point in talking. About, uh, oh, I, I understand what you're saying. Okay. But if um, they were here, I think it would be helpful and it would be responsible of this local station board to set aside well, may time I, to may I? All right. Well, let, may I ask the members at large then, does anybody have a copy of those reports? I don't believe they've been generated. They haven't been generated. Okay. So that that, that would be the, the answer to your point of information, which is well taken, but that's the answer. So um, there, there's no, we can't set aside the time. Okay. Um, all right. Anything else? All those in favor of approving the agenda as amended? We didn't vote on the amendment. We voted on the amendment. Okay. Yes, we did. Okay. That was the 10 to 1 vote. Okay. All those in favor of uh, approving the agenda as amended, please raise your hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All opposed? 1. That carries. 9 1. Okay. Uh, first item we vote on that. Excuse absences. Yes, Ray. I'd like to excuse Omar Clay. 
Yes. Okay. Any other excuse? Yes. A uh, motion to excuse Bertel Reimers and Patty Hevlin. Okay. Yes, Bertel. I move to excuse Carolyn Burden and um, uh, Kathy Davis, who have previously told us all they can't be here on Tuesday. Okay. Anybody else? Any more? Any more takers? Like this is Berta Silva. Berta Silva. Anybody else? No. Okay. All right. So all those in favor of excusing Omolani Clay, Father Lucas, Bertolt Drivers, Patty Hefley, Carolyn Burden, Kathy Davis, and Berta Silva, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All opposed? Two. Okay, that carries ten, two. Okay, uh, set the date of the next local station board meeting. Mia, you've been looking around. Do you have some proposed dates? December 27. Do you have another date? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 26 is Boxing Day. That's really appropriate. 24. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. <laughs> Some people do. Well, the 27th is, is, is about the, 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 the 27th. Okay. The 31st. That would be a great way to ring out the old year. Good. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes. The fireworks. No alcohol, please. All right. All those. All those in favor of meeting on December 27th, please raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I think it's 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 wrong for us to. Uh... Hi. Hi. I think it's not right for us to meet on, on December 27th. This is in, in the middle of the, ho the holiday season and people are out of town. People, those of us who have families, el elderly parents who live elsewhere that we have to see often at this time of the year cannot come. And I, I, I that, you know, I can't go for this, December 27th. I would think that many of you would be sympathetic to uh, that. I think so. I think people are also rather those rather sympathetic to the run up to the holidays when people are utterly frantic and overwhelmed. Um, okay. So the chair wasn't debating just that. No, no, not at all. Um, so I would like myself, to propose. Why don't we try to find a week uh, uh, meeting date in the week, like a uh, week and a half before something around fifteen, seventeen. People are not. Yeah, that was kind of yeah. interesting. Eighteenth and nineteenth. Eighteenth and nineteenth. Very end. Yeah, that Yes. Um, yes. Yes. A lot of folks have their holiday party or whatever else that they have. They do have it early. And um, the KPFTX calendar, I thought I had it with me. Shoot. I, I, I forgot it. Shoot. Yeah. Mm. Not, I, I know before, it's hard to find a space. That's what I'm saying, you know. That's exactly why those days are available because, because people are gone. I don't know. I don't celebrate those holidays, so. Okay, any further art, any further discussion? All those in favor of the 27th, please raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all opposed? Two, that passes, nine, two, that'll be the 27th of December. At seven? At seven. At a place to be announced. So you made it you know, the language, it would be 1199. Okay. Okay. Uh, election of the Radio Report Committee. Uh, we have, 
I have Marcus is here with his. You know, your last meeting was on Halloween. <laughs> maybe, maybe the next meeting you can have on Easter, then we'll have one on the fourth of, of July. I mean, are you are you serious He's about having meetings where people can come? Yes. It's re ridiculous. People with, to be. with uh, families cannot come at, at these times. I know most of you don't have families. Please, 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 please come to order. Please, please, everybody come to order. Okay. All right. Election of the radio report committee. Nominations? Yes. Yes. Anti family family yes. board. Please. How many, how many, how many members? How many members are we supposed to choose for this? How many members? Who brought that motion? I think it's five. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. They want to go to their five Christmas people. Parties, but they have a uh, meeting on Halloween. Please come to order. Please come to order. Um, please come to order. Nominations for. Yes, our nominations are open. Nia, I need you to I'm sorry, do you accept? Do you accept? Say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not badger the proposal. I'm not badgering. All right, okay. Do you accept? Yes. Okay, thank you. Let's share this I nominate Sri Rabbit. Sri, do you accept? Payback. Okay, further nominations? I'd be happy to. Further nominations. We need five people. I nominate Tibby Brooks. Tibby, do you accept? No. No? I nominate Bob Lara. Bob, no. What do you mean no? Yes. I nominate Barbara Gago. All right. <laughs> All right, we need two more. We need two more. Well, if I may point out that this committee will probably meet once, twice. Don't all speak at once. Make sure it's Christmas when you meet. Right. We need two more. We need two more nominations. But, Madam Chair, this is for a committee that's supposed to go out of existence on the 31st of December, right? That's correct. And so it's going to meet and set up all of the uh, LSB radio shows for the entire okay. rest of the year. Right. For the rest of this calendar year, yes. Right. That's all. That's what it's going to do. <laughs> all right, that's four. I nominate uh, Sarah Plavich. That's five. All right. Ballots? Can somebody be so kind as to distribute them? <laughs> You're not supposed to be touching them. No. No. Okay. Who's the five? Okay. Uh, so, who's the fifth? So just you know, put people in whatever order. Here's an envelope. Who's the fifth? All right. The nominees I'm going to repeat are. Oh. Oh, after the after right, okay. We'll repeat the names of the nominees after the ballots have been distributed. No. 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 I would prefer the other. Uh, actually, what we what we. Uh, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. I we. I just. Yes. Sorry to be late. What are we voting on? We're voting on members of the radio committee. There are five nominations. Nominations are, are closed, or are they still open? Formally closed. Formally closed. Not well. They did back down. I didn't. If there are no further nominations, do you have a nomination you would like to make, Steve? No, I don't. Okay, well, then nominations are closed. Okay. I'm going to repeat who they are. Um, Nia, Nia Bediaco, <laughs> Serene Roberts, Vajra Kilgower, Ray LaForest, Sarah Flounders. Vote for five. 
Okay. Mia Bediaco, Serene Roberts, Bajra Kilgower, Rayla Forrest, and Sarah Flounders. We're, this is a single transferable vote, so just number them in order one to five, however you like, and uh, we'll be on our way. The next item on the agenda is the consideration of ratification of what? No, 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 no. Motion regarding staff pay cuts. Okay. No, that's fine. That comes after. Yes, sorry. Please. Five is uh, the motion regarding staff pay cuts. I understand a motion came out of the finance committee. Where are we on that? Oh, I'm gonna have to, well, okay, yeah. Sorry. Thanks. Um, the there was a there were a number of motions passed actually in the finance committee, um, but one of the motions passed concerned the pay cuts and the GMs, the IGMs. Uh, Failure please please to, come to order. The IGM's failure to comply. Um, since that finance committee, since the local finance committee meeting, um, there was a further motion passed by the PNB. Well, no, I'm sorry. It was addressed at the PNB during their meeting on Sunday. Uh, this is a copy of the motion. What what's being distributed now is a copy of the motion that there are extra copies of the out there. Um, is a copy of the motion that was presented to the PNB. They did not, in fact, um, complete a discussion on it. It was referred to the um, to the new EB and the CFO. Um, so the motion that I'd like us to pass here, which I'm creating on the fly because I didn't get to it earlier, is that the WBAI LSD strongly urges the manager, the uh, interim general manager, to comply with both the letter and spirit of the uh, motion presented to the PND uh, on on uh, Sunday was what the 18th? 18th on Sunday the 18th of November a copy of which is being circulated now. Second. Are there, are there, are there copies? Okay, so it would read. Does everyone who wants a copy have a copy? There are extras for outside. Resolved, the WBAI local station board strongly urges the interim general manager to comply with both the letter and spirit of the motion presented to the Pacific National Board on September 18, 2007. That would no, be no, the, no, on November 18. I'm sorry, no, why do I want it to be September? Because November 18, 2007. Can we just re, can we identify that motion completely here and say the motion, uh, repay cuts to WBAI paid staff? Repay cuts to WBAI paid staff so that we're clear about exactly what we're doing here. Okay, presented to the PNB on November 18, 2007. Would you like to motivate that? Locally, uh, beginning as early as we have board discussions about the budget, um, we have stated and have passed motions locally urging the IGM, which is what we can do here, we cannot command the manager, we can urge the manager, um, to comply with staff contracts and to consult with both, uh, both paid and unpaid uh, staff organizations before moving forth on the budget. On the, uh, budget. And in addition, when the budget was sent up to the national board uh, for voting at their September in-person meeting, that board passed a motion directing the manager, which they are able to do, directing the manager that he must comply with the, with the uh, after contract and he must consult with the unions. He has failed to do so and in fact um, indicated in a writing that was distributed um, to the to the LSB on Saturday, um, 
I did not consult with the unpaid staff prior, you know, prior concerning the, the staff reductions. I did consult with after Union Legal Counsel, including Jose Santiago. Um, told them we simply didn't have the money, um, and there would be an across the board cut, effective 11:15. Uh, he was told that they were going to file a grievance. He said, "Go ahead." And that when they did so, he passed the information on to our legal counsel and CFO, which is why the CFO is then included in the motion um, that was presented to the PMB last Sunday. So um, I think that it is unfortunate that they are, well, I think it's important that a manager follow the instructions um, handed to him by the board, and important that staff at a station like BAI be consulted about things that are going to not just direct their pockets affect you know their pockets directly, but also affect the way we work. Uh, oh. oh, okay, Alex. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, yes, uh, I would like to offer a substitute motion to this motion. And the, <coughs> it reads the, as the following. Uh, resolved that the LSB reverses the decision it made supporting management proposals for a 5% across the board cut in staff wages. And that <coughs> the uh, cuts that were carried out on November 15th be rescinded and money be restored to all staff members. Furthermore, that the uh, funding uh, for, to take care of the deficit that WBAI faces uh, be uh, taken from the salaries of management. That is, we are calling for a 10% cut in the salaries of uh, Pacifica wide management as a whole and a 25% cut in the salaries of WBAI management because uh, we have to uh, go by the principle that the buck stops with the leadership and it's the leadership that has gotten us into this financial mess. Uh, unfortunately, there are some people on this board who have to share responsibility for this, but since they're not paid, we can't uh, we can't pin them to the mat on that. Um, so that's my substitute motion. Okay. Do you have a copy of it? Here, here, here. Um, I'll write one out to you. Thank you. Okay. The yeah. Point of information I heard before. Um, this substantive motion was made by one of the members to say that um, she felt that the, the general manager ought to respect um, um, orders or directions given from the board. I might have taken this, this is a reversal of the JUC's position, which has always been that the board has no basis uh, for ordering, directing, controlling, or even having oversight over the general manager, as many of us have stated um, in the past. As a point of information, um, that was a statement, and as such is out of order, but What's the, question? the statement the question? part, the question part of it is that this board has oversight and is able to request and is able to ask, and is able to, and, and any individual may state his or her opinion with regard to what they think the. Kind of yes. I clearly stated that the LSB had passed the motion. Court of order. I was to support a personal privilege. Um. Yeah. Is it or is it a point of order? Well, I'm I'm explaining to the member. Why, all right. Is this a response? I'm sorry, Serene. Are you responding to the uh, request for information? Yes. Oh, okay. My request was to the chair. I know, but I'm at, I am allowed to ask right. if that anyone, you know, if the person, you're not allowed to ask directly, you ask me and I ask the members. So, Serene, please. I, I clearly stated when I began speaking that the LSB could only urge management but could not direct management. I further went on to say that I was referring to the, the uh, motion that was passed on September 29th by the PNB at their in-person meeting. And we're urging that the manager follow that directive. The PND can, in fact, direct not just managers, but their boss, the executive director. That's the structure. Okay. All right. Okay. I have a point of information. Yes. With regard to this will, motion, will the board members kindly use the mic? All yeah, the please use the mic. All right. 
with with regard to this motion, does anybody know uh, was the five has the five percent pay cut been instituted in the most recent uh, payroll, which I believe was earlier was eleven fifteen? Does anybody know if the paychecks actually reflect the um five percent cut that's beyond the four percent rescinding of the increase, but the actual five percent right. cut? Bob, can you respond to that? I have no more information than any other member of this board, but in case you didn't read the posting that, that was forwarded from Robert Scott Adams, what he wrote was, um, uh, we simply instituted a 5% across the board effective with the 1115 payroll. Now, it's important to, to read the, the previous part because this is something that's extremely troubling that he openly admits his failure to implement the, the PMB's motion. He says, um, I simply told them, meaning AFTRA, we did not have the money to pay raises except for those who didn't receive them for the past two years, and um, th which is contrary to the motion saying that um, that all um, that any salary cut shall apply equally to all employees. So he did not implement that as the, the PNB wrote, which was an amendment that I had made. And I passed based on an LSB amendment that uh, had been passed as well. Madam Chair? Yes. Uh, I spoke to uh, some folks at the station, and uh, they had been in contact with the um, people who do payroll at Pacifica. And a couple of days before this was supposed to happen, the Pacifica people said they had not gotten. Um, uh, a directive from Pacifica to cut the pay. Mm -hmm. And because it was so close to it, um, it looks like it's it hasn't happened. Okay. Um, because I think I, I think what's happened is that the PNB uh, brought this up and uh, people realize they can't do it legally. Okay. All right. Well, it seems to me that the motion presented by Mr. Steinberg is a motion to rescind. That will require a two-thirds vote. No, it's a motion to rescind uh, the pay cuts, not to rescind the resolution. Uh, it was, wait, hang on. May I see the resolution? May I see the, the resolution reads... Resolve that the LSB reverse the decision it made supporting management. That is rescinding. No, I didn't use the word rescinding. It wasn't seconded. I, know, I understand that you didn't use the word rescinding, but nevertheless, the effect of that would be to rescind. And so therefore, it requires a two-thirds vote. No. Yes. No. The mic, please. Use the mic, no. please. That's not. It's not reversing a motion of the board. Since the, the motion that uh, the member uh, proposed has not been seconded, I would like to offer my own substitute um, motion, and that is that uh, it seems to me that a uh, five percent pay cut would yield somewhere between fifty and sixty thousand dollars. That's nowhere near what WBAI needs. My motion would say that first we uh, terminate the positions of interim general manager and program director, and that we have the uh, heads of the various departments uh, take on the duties of the program director and the general manager and appoint one of their own uh, in, in those positions on a revolving basis. This would, this would save the station about $200,000 a year. Uh, KPFA has functioned quite well for many years, not many years, several years, without a program director uh, or a general You're motivating manager. your motion. You're motivating your motion. That's there. true. I apologize. Um, yes. Do I hear a second? Second. All right. It's been moved and seconded. Would you please write that down so that the secretary can have it? You didn't bring it in writing. Please write it down. It's simple enough. So just say it. First term name positions of IGM and PD. And have heads of departments take on responsibility. Yeah, you're using it. I think this is what you said. First, that should be struck. Terminate positions of I this is your substitute motion. Terminate positions of IGM and PC. And have heads of departments take on responsibilities. What Correct. And and they should appoint one of their number on a revolving basis to oh, serve. Wait, in a revolving day, on a revolving day, yes. to serve as in an executive function. 
uh, I left out uh, one point, I'm sorry, that a some portion, perhaps 15% of the $200,000 in savings realized should be distributed on an equal basis among the department heads to compensate them for the additional fees. Once you start the numbers, you got to write it down. I have a problem. Nobody can read my handwriting, including myself. Two seconds I've written. So I will, I will repeat until you have it all. All right. That some portion. 15 percent. Parentheses. 15 percent be distributed on an equal basis among the department heads. To compensate them for their additional responsibility. Okay. And that's a savings. <clears throat> okay, do you want to motivate that? Uh, I think that I, I think that I, it was seconded. It was seconded. I, yes, I'd like to motivate that. Part of what I said was that uh, stations in our network have functioned quite well without either a program director or a general manager. Um, possibly after the financial situation is stabilized, we could reconsider um, the reinstitution of those uh, job titles. But until that time, I don't think we have the luxury of carrying uh, a program director or a general manager when there are others who can take up the slack. It's a bad word. Take up the responsibility. Hey, uh, did anybody wish to add anything to that? Okay. <clears throat> yes. For the discussion. Well, I think in the cases where we actually saw uh, individuals not being replaced, it was when... Uh, um, people occupying those positions were forced out of office and that uh, there was a mechanism to uh, replace them that didn't take, take uh, effect yet. Um, this is a difficult time for WBI. Uh, it's very risky to remove people who have experience running the station in the you know, position of, of administration. And uh, I think what been offered before uh, which is subjected to uh, 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 for, this, uh, the, for the unions to take a position, the, the organization representing the workers to take a position and offer their own their own alternative views. I think at this point is more reasonable. I would vote against this. Yes. All may the mice, please. The chair, yes. Yes, the chair. Ask the chair, if the, ask the members if he realizes that my motion would would make it unnecessary to That's take five percent. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. I like him because he made a statement about the union. I'd like to, to know from the member if he understands that my motion would make it unnecessary to take that, five percent. That is really not a point of information. Salary. That's an that's an argument in favor. It is a question, motion, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, will you yeah. will you remit my question to the member? Please? No, I will not. <laughs> Uh, I move to overturn the ruling of the chair. For arbitrariness, prejudice, and, and irresponsibility. Okay. I believe that uh, the purpose of your question was basically to make a statement. It is and not that's your, fine. It is not your There's role no to read my mind, Madam Chair. I asked the question, you refused to remit it. I did it in precise language and courteous language. You are irresponsible, and I'm not conducting your affairs in a proper manner. I, oh, I move to overrule you. Now call the roll. Point of order. Yes. I don't think anybody needs to order anybody around to do certain things. Well, that's quite correct, and it is out of order, in but fact, that's what people are used to, so, you know. to come to a vote without discussion. A point of information would generally be to ask for information not previously uh, available to members, and if you wish to offer information, such as that your proposal would uh, would not would make it unnecessary to have a 5% pay cut, that was something that either you could have offered when you first spoke to your motion, or you could offer it at any time. But I, I, am, not, um, I am not amenable to having a member grilled with regard to his understanding of something. And I think that if somebody wants to make a statement, they can make a statement, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I, but I, I am not going to subject that member to being asked that kind of question in that manner. So, um, anybody else wish to speak to this? Yes, yes, I think I have the right to speak now on this motion. Uh, you've already spoken on it once. No, I, I've not, you, you've now spoken about overturning the... the you, you brought the, it and then you motivated it. You can speak once. Right. Uh, my language to you, to ask the member, was polite, courteous, 
and it was in the form of a question. You intended to read my mind, you decided that I was grilling the member, which I did not do because I asked you, and also you, you, you had the, the effrontery to decide what was in my mind and why I posed the question. I think that was very irresponsible and overstepped your, your responsibility as a, as a chair. Anybody else? Yes. Bob? I have my hand up. I'm, I'm calling on Bob, and then I will call on you. Oh, all right, go ahead. Bob has yielded to you. For now. Bob will speak after you. <laughs> Pass the mic, please. Um, I am speaking in favor of this motion. I think it's a fine idea. And uh, I would appeal to those of us uh, on this board who consider themselves champions of the working class. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. um, I, the, to, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Alex. Yes. The topic under discussion right now is the is it was that wasn't even second. The overruling of the chairs. The overruling of the chairs. Um, ruling that uh, the member had not actually made a point of information. Uh, well, the chair would not pass it on. Yeah. I didn't think so. Okay, Bob. <laughs> The, the finding that the chair made that this was not really a point of information is, is a typical use of the role of the chair to make sure that, that the rules are being followed. Points of information are real questions about something that the person doesn't understand about emotion or about the facts behind emotion. Anything else, and, and this has happened many times in many organizations that use Robert's rules, is when, when a chair detects that what's actually happening is an attempt to assert a position, they simply say, you can't use a point of information for that. If you want to say it, raise your hand, ask to be recognized, and you can say it. So um, it's totally within the chair's role appropriately, and I think we should just sustain her ruling and move on. Yes. Our Paul. Yeah, the the simplest thing would have been to save a lot of time and for the chair to have just said, okay, the member has heard that. However, um, whatever it is in terms of the, the chair ruling and all of that, uh, what what the member has just stated would be would be an interesting way to do it, but it's not the way it gets done at these meetings. And there is, I think this is another instance where we see that um, different people are treated differently uh, because we know, we can show it on the videos of these meetings, that some people's frequent points of information are treated one way and this one is being treated a different way. That's the real problem. Okay, well, uh, anybody else? I will speak last. All right, I'm just going to speak to that because I have quite vivid recollections of asking people on all sides to not to make statements in the form of a point of information, and I have been uh, scolded for interrupting people in the middle of making what they, they, they were saying was a point of information, and I didn't think it was, and they were, they were on this side of the table, so that happens. And whatever folks may think is done at these meetings, I don't think, this is not how I've, how I've been running the meetings and I don't intend to continue running them that way. It's the first time I've been challenged on one of these. So, um, the, any member is certainly free to make a statement. And the member had a chance to make another statement with regard to his, and, and since I've ruled his point of information out of order, still has a, a chance to speak to his own motion and can add whatever facts he feels should be in the possession of other members that he feels support his point. So all those in favor of upholding the chair's ruling that that was not in fact a point of information and that it was not proper to pass the question along to the other member, please raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all opposed. Two. Okay, that chair's ruling is upheld. Now we're back to the, we're back to the, that was eight and two. Okay, so now we're back to the issue, what we're, um, okay, somebody, somebody next to speak to Steve's substitution motion, yes? All right, we have eight minutes left. Yes, Bob? Yes? All right, yes, it's not, yes, it's a special order for 815. Okay, so we will now interrupt this program to bring you public comment. Thank you, Serene. Can somebody please make a microphone available to the public? This microphone here, perhaps? 
Here, please make this microphone available by actually. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Please, please come to order. Please come to order. If the public doesn't, you know, we talk all night. This is the public's one chance. Please be respectful and listen. Oh my, I now have five issues that I want to address. Uh, I hope I can remember them. First please of all, come to order and please listen respectfully while people are talking. Start now, please, Pat. Um, well, my five issues. First of all, I'd like to commend the board for the uh, making the the next LC meeting on December 27th. I think it's wonderful for us not to get hung up in recognizing these ridiculous holidays. I think it's super. Um, second of all, um, I have a question about th this meeting. Um, on the website, it said this was a continued meeting. When I come here, since there was an agenda and everything, it appears to be not a continued meeting. I didn't hear any at all um, mentions of this meeting on the air. And that has to be done, I understand, by the bylaws. It has to be done <clears throat> two weeks in advance. It has to be broadcast that the meeting is going to take place. So I think it is very possible that this is an illegal meeting. And if it is, that's really a problem. Um, I would also like to address an accessibility issue. That is these new earls that they have for the streams of the national um, board and the um, <clears throat> national committees. Uh, I am not able to access these things. They're very strange. They have greater than quotes and other things that you shouldn't be able to have in a URL and uh, I'm not able to to use them. I think that uh, that Pacifica as a nonprofit organization should be supporting people um, who are using Linux and alternative um, operating systems and that uh, we should have... Please come. Lisa Davis. No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. That's one more. Rhodes? Yes. <laughs> Roberts? No. Ross? Uh, yes. Steinberg? Yes. For yeses, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. What? Six. Yeses. And those are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Champions seven. of the working class. No, it's nine. Nine. Oh, it's nine. Thank you. Nine. Oh, yes. Six, yes. Ooh. Nine, no. Okay. All right, so that does not carry. That brings us to the resolution brought by Serene Roberts, resolved that the WBAI Local Station Board strongly urges the Attorney General Manager to comply with both the letter and spirit of the motion, repay cuts to WBAI pay staff presented to the Pacific National Board on November 18, 2007. All those in favor? I have a question. We're done. The time is up for discussion. All in favor? What is the spirit of that motion? The time is up. All those in favor? All those in favor? What is the spirit? It refers to the spirit of the motion. I don't understand what that means. All those in favor? Please raise your hand. Point of order, Madam Chair. Point of information is not under a time limit. 
Nobody's not a guest. Yes, I'm sorry. Bob has the floor. If a member does not understand what the motion means, then it's normally allowed to ask that question. It's an actual question about what does this word mean. Okay. Serene, it's your motion. Your point is well taken. It is perfectly possible that a manager could walk into the room and say, well, you know, I was told I have to consult with you guys before I do X, and here I am, say what you want, and then say thank you and walk out. That would not be the spirit of consultation. It really talks about trying to achieve a meeting of the minds uh, in terms of what actually works best for the station under difficult circumstances. That is what I mean by the spirit. Thank, thank you, you Sri. Okay. All right. Okay. All those in favor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All opposed? One, two. Okay, that carries. The next item on the agenda is consideration of motions passed way back when. No, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. The next item on the agenda. No, 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 no. I'm going to the old agenda. The new agenda. The next item on the agenda. I don't see a time limit for this. He said 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Oh, he did at the time. That's right. He did. I'm sorry. I. Okay. 15 minutes for this item. Do you have a motion? What is this item? This is our motion. Yeah. This is the item. Motion re allegations the WPAI paid for a slate mailing. 15 minutes. Okay, my motion reads as follows The WBAI local station board requests that the Pacifica chief financial officer report as soon as possible to the LSB on the facts concerning the billing and alleged payment for the Justice and Unity mailing by WBAI. Is this in writing? Do you have a copy of this? Second. Okay. Just handwriting. Is that one? Okay. Would the member please, ex please come to order? Would the member please read it once more? And everybody please listen closely. It's really only a sentence, isn't it? Sure. Please, yeah. Yeah. please just read it slowly and everybody listen quickly. <laughs> the WBAI local station board requests that the Pacifica chief financial officer report as soon as possible to the LSB on the facts concerning the billing and alleged payment for the justice and unity mailing by WBAI. Does that say payment or alleged payment? Alleged, alleged, alleged payment. payment. Actually, I'm, I'm sorry, this is uh, grammatically not clear. Yes. It's not to imply that the mailing was done by WBAI. Mm -hmm. It's that the, the allegation is that the payment was made by WBAI. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yes, it should, it should be, um, and the alleged payment by WBAI for the justice community. Okay, could you please read that now as as it's sure. Been. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. point, point of order. Yes. I'm yes. curious. Mm -hmm. This is a continuation meeting. This item, I don't see it on the agenda. It's not a continuation mm -hmm. meeting. And we, before you arrive, um, it's not a continuation meeting. There was a. No, there was. A, wait, no, we want to go back to where we were about it not being a continuation meeting. There were there were dueling recollections that were resolved in favor of that. There was just that it is never. It was not. It was not actually a a continued meeting. So this is a new meeting, and prior to your arrival here, the agenda was. Hello. Yes. Okay. So uh, Bob, please yes. as recast. Okay. The WBAI local station board requests that the Pacifica chief financial officer report as soon as possible to the WBAI uh, LSB on the facts concerning the billing and alleged payment by WBAI uh, um, for the justice and unity mailing. Okay, maybe to be clear, it should say the Justice and Unity campaign. Campaign. Uh, Alleged payments by WBAI for the Justice and Unity campaign. Campaign mailing to the membership. To the membership. 
Yes. Point, point. Nia? Nia? Yes. Can I make a friendly amendment to that? Well, nobody has seconded it, so you can't make a friendly amendment. Point of information. Yes. Yeah. Who, made, who made the allegation? Who made the allegation? Yeah. 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 The allegation was made. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Bob, yeah. who made the allegation? I don't know if anyone made an allegation. Yeah. 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 Excuse me. I, yeah, you made a point. If, if Nia, do you wish to yield to his point of information, or can that wait? Nia has the floor. Yeah. No. All right, Nia. I would, um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a friendly amendment. Rather than facts, can we say truth? Because facts is social construction. I can't hear, yeah, I can't hear you. Could we say truth rather than facts? Because facts are social construction. A lot of people say things that say they're facts, but, but could you please say the truth? It's a friendly amendment. I, I don't mean to yell at you, but nobody can hear me. Okay. Well, we can't. I'm sorry. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry. We can't. We actually because people leap second. It's too late for you know a friendly noodling of the thing. So, can I comment on this? so there's now an amendment that will change back to the truth. We'll I'm sorry. Can I comment on? If she has another point of information. There's a point of information. I will. We will not take up the point of information. I just asked, um, who made this allegation? Bob, you brought the motion. There was a public state, there was a statement on a public computer bulletin board by a member of this board, Mitch Cohen, that that alleged that the station has paid for Chris Mayer. Uh, <coughs> Alex, uh, <coughs> I do not believe that to be a fact. I believe the only thing. Please use the microphone. The only thing I'm aware of on a public bulletin board are questions about this. I don't believe any allegation actually was made. That's how, that's how I read what was on that board. Lisa? Um, Madam Chair, I think that we're just quibbling over semantics. Please use a, use a, and then, and then Ray, I'm sorry, Ray, I just, We're just quibbling over semantics. The allegations were made and we're asking that the truth be reported about what happened. It's that simple. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not, no, we're not doing crosstalk and Ray is next to be recognized. Well, Ray is next to be recognized. I have a point of information. Well, if Ray wishes to yield to your point of, of information, he may. Otherwise, it can wait until he's done speaking. That's fine. You want to yield? Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. I would like to have the uh, the alleged allegation read into the record so that we know what we're talking about. You read it. Do you have a copy of it? Well, please, come please come to order. Please come to order. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please come to order. Please come to order. I think that um, we can't meet that point of information. We don't have a copy of the email that probably everyone here has seen. Yes, that everyone here has seen. Yes. I think it's out of order and out of bounds for a member to come here and decide that every rumor and every allegation made on a public bulletin board is something that the foundation has to take cognizance of. I did not come here and say I would like the foundation to investigate the truth of whether I'm an indicted criminal in 13 states escaping a jail sentence, as is alleged here 10 times by Marshall or whatever his name is. This is ridiculous. So okay. I think this motion is out of You haven't heard the half of what I've said about you Shut yet. up. Please especially, do not speak to members of the public in that time. Well, please, tell me, the public. Please, everybody yeah, come to order themselves. right now. Yes. Everybody, everybody, come to order right now, please. We don't, we, I don't want shouting going on in here. I want to ask members of the public to please come to order and not to interrupt members of the board when they're speaking, just as I ask members of the board not to interrupt you when you're speaking. And I would ask members of the board not to address members of the public in disrespectful terms. Absolutely. Um, especially, I think and I would ask every order. member of the board to come to order right now. If a member is speaking. Please give him your full attention. I think it's such a motion, especially out of order, when the allegation on which it's based is not even here for anybody to see. I have not seen such an allegation, which is why I asked the question. So I object strenuously to, the, to this motion even being brought, without at least having the, the basis on which. All right, I'm going to rule that point not well taken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Alex, so you just you are, you are, you are, you are, 
you are a piece of shit. <laughs> are, are you kidding? No. I would actually, what I would, I, I, I would like, if it's possible, right now, for someone to request, that we can have computer access. We can ask. All right. While well, we're asking for computer access, we could put this. Um, how much time do we have left on this? Not enough. Eight minutes. That we put this on hold and go on to the next agenda item. Okay. So we have eight minutes when we come back. And what time is it? Uh, 8.56. 8.56. And we have public comment at 9.15. Okay, so we have eight minutes of this when we come back. We have motions to... Um, we have serious financial problems. We have, excuse me, please come to order. Okay, I'm going to distribute the motions that were approved. Um... Provisionally, back in July. Okay, here we go. Right, motions provisionally adopted by July 14, 2007. No? No, this is it. This is, okay, here's take one and pass them along, please. Take one and pass them along. Please come to order. Point of information, Madam Chair. Yes. Uh, I see that the treasurer is here. Are yes. there are there any reports or anything that we are going to be handed out tonight for treasurer just to find out? Rudy, do you have reports to no, distribute? I'm just going to give an Verbal update. No. Nothing more. Than you, nothing more than we told you at the finance committee meeting. Thank you. Okay. Chair. I'm, I'm passing out more. Okay, please take one. And, did I pass them on? Motion to Back in front, yeah. Interim general manager evaluation process. Resolution against the death penalty and executions. Does everybody have a copy of that? Yes. Yes. All right, well, they can have problems. Does anyone out there want a copy of the Yeah. Here. Okay, why don't we take up the shorter one first? Why don't we take up number one first? That would be the shorter one. Logical. And also the shorter one. Wait, copy of my own. All right, one. Resolution against the death penalty and executions of Troy Anthony Davis and Mumia Abu Jamal. Where is the death penalty has been practiced in the USA with extreme racial and economic prejudice? And where is many people on death row have been placed there after trials flawed by since retained testimony, incompetent legal counsel, and institution or illegitimate evidence? The WBI local station board urges the worldwide repeal of the death penalty and also urges increased coverage of this issue by our station. In the case of Umiya Abu Jamal, we call for his immediate release from SCI Green in Waynesburg, Pennsylvania. And in the case of Troy Anthony Davis in the state of Georgia, we call for pardon for the conviction which would otherwise, otherwise lead to his death on July 17, 2007. The LSB further authorizes the Secretary to immediately transmit this motion to the Pacific and National Board, our sister, our sister local station boards, and the appropriate addresses relating to the two cases in Georgia and Pennsylvania. Um, I see we... I, uh, this was Lisa. This was your motion. I see we need a change of date with regard to Troy Anthony Davis. Can you update us on that case? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have a life sentence. He was commuted to a life sentence. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure. It is. But it's still 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 we're, I guess we're here to affirm that he's passed, so we just yeah, leave, it just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Okay. Discussion? Yes, our oh, yes. uh, Two things. One, um, this has been put up on BAI. Oh, we're in time. What? We just started. You have to speak faster. Wow, I wasn't fast no, no, enough. I know. Um, can we not, let's not count the time that I spent reading it. Is that a rule in the chair? Well, no, or somebody can propose that we extend, and maybe we'll get a um, move to extend by how long? Seven minutes. Four minutes. Five minutes. Six 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 minut
four minutes. I have, is that four minutes. Minutes. Four minutes. I have four minutes. Move to extend by four minutes. Is there any objection? No. Our Paul. Oh, fast. Um, this has been up on BAI.org for months. And as, as a thing in terms of how we should operate, we really shouldn't be putting things up that never got passed. It, this has been up since July. It'll probably pass tonight. It's the end of November. Right. Now, this is, this is emblematic of the dysfunction of this LSB, the way we do things like this. I just want to say that. The second thing is, I, this is, you know, I can agree with this, but the fact is, some of this at least, but the fact is, we, have, we should be addressing um, the station and the finances and, and the dire situation the place is in. Uh, this is uh, grandstanding and posturing for people here mostly. People. I don't think it affects the world. Please don't I am not chair. I am not order. Please come to order. You are not chair. Madam Chair, I am not describing any motivations. I am describing behavior and what we're seeing. I'm not saying why somebody's grandstanding and posturing. I'm saying they are. No, this is not a correct way to speak of fellow That's precise. It's, it's, it's accurate. Lisa, Lisa, you know, I'm sure it's quite clear these remarks do not at all shock me at all when we consider the background and the work that people do. Um, this is a very serious situation. This is what WBAI reports on. This is what we are supposed to be about. And I don't see the need for any, um, well, people can say what they want to say, but I just think it. It's not shocking when it shows who they are, and I just move that we go on forward. Point of order. All right, if we come to Point of order. order. We come to uh, I, 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 believe, uh, I believe the speaker just spoke insulted some of the board members. Well, thank you. That's good. I don't think I said that was insulting. I said it's what they believe. <laughs> All right, let's not, let's not make that All right, so how much time do we have left? Two minutes. Two minutes. We'll have to wait here. All right, one minute. There were two minutes. You, you can decide can between here and each of you which, which of you is going to have the two minutes. That's a great point. Well, can we not divide them? You can divide them if you so choose. My one, one, minute, my one, one point, minute each. My one point to respond to what Lisa said about this is what BAI reports on, and that's true, and this is what BAI should be reporting on. But my point to follow up on what Art Paul says, BAI won't be reporting on this so much longer if we don't really get serious about the financial issues. And, you know, this Please come to order. debating on um, 5% pay cut that's never going to happen is really not... It's really not doing the job. All right, so you're now wrap off on another topic. Please, put that. Thanks. 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 Steve has a mic. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Uh, the, two, the, two, the, two, the two motions, there's no, no juice in this. Yeah. The two motions under discussion are very worthy. I support them fully. However, I do not believe it is the function of this board to vote on such motions unless they consider the 10 million other equally worthy motions that they can talk about. There's a war in Iraq. There's a jerk off president. We have a million different things that are equally important with the death of anybody you could name, and this board does not address them. We should be concentrating on the finances of this station, which are ruinous. I don't see why the board picks out two particular Time. issues, no matter how worthy, to, to make a vote on, and okay, ignores the million right. other worthy issues. Okay, you're, you're Let's just bring this to a vote. All those in favor, please raise your hand. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did I get everybody? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Raise your hand up. Yes. Nine, right. ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, twelve in favor. All opposed. That carries. Okay. Uh, Bob, you have something for us? No, I need another five minutes. You need, what do you mean? You need another five minutes. Oh, you need, I'm sorry. Okay. Got All right, so we'll go on to um, part B. Is that the part, back of it? Part B. Motion for management evaluation for the reevaluation process for interim general managers. That's 15 minutes. Oh, wait, wait. There's something else I need to distribute. Well, part of, yes? part of, okay. Are we doing the back of this motion on interim general yes. management? Yes. So we're on that now? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so actually, there's something else I need to distribute, one, which people have not yet seen. Yeah. Yes, no, because I think that, yeah, we, I thought that we had actually ratified this part, but not this. Oh, these have been posted for a long time, but please take one and pass them along. These are the uh, evaluation forms that were put together by the evaluation committee. Please take one and pass them on. Mm -hmm. More and more. I hope I don't need any more than this. 
Okay. So I'll we'll give folks a, a little bit of time to read those. Madam Chair, uh, may I ask a question? Yes. Um, given the amount of time that the board has is limited, this general manager term is coming to an end. He was extended one month uh -huh. by Dan Siegel, uh, and then he's out. Uh, it seems that, in light of this fact, uh, what is the purpose of an evaluation that's going to take up a lot of time for the board? Yeah. Well, and we have other urgent mm -hmm. uh, problems to discuss. Three. Yeah, here. That's a good question. I remember a similar situation um, yeah. back when uh, we were about to begin the process of evaluating then permanent general manager uh, Don Rojas, when members of the committee, um, many of whom are now disclaiming. Um, no, please don't. I'm, excuse please. me, please. Please don't. No. And now disclaiming their votes, insisted that we didn't need to move ahead with the evaluation process. Um, we had an interim general manager what? that was supposed to be here for a relative. Please come to order. Please come to order. Serene, Serene has the floor. Serene has the floor. So please come to order. We had a previous interim general manager who was supposed to be here for a relatively short time and turned out to be here for a year and a half and, and was not evaluated because the sentiment again was, well, that person is going to be leaving. So just uh, two things. As a point of order, I think it's inappropriate for a member of the board to state that they know that any management person is, quote, going to be out. Um, we know that the, the current person was appointed for a term that ended in November, which has since been extended one month, but we do not know um, whether or not they will be, quote, out shortly. Um, so I think while, I mean, there's nothing brand new here. Folks can look through it. We can get on with it. If it turns out we don't need to do it, because by the time we, um, we get to that point in the process, it's a, it's a mood issue, then it's a mood issue. But we're going to have the same situation again, where folks say, oh, don't bother to do it, and then they criticize people for not having done it. Madam Chair, point of personal privilege, I'm assuming we yes. don't want it. Uh, this is uh, an answer I received to be a libel against the board. Uh, I, it, it, I have a little good sense of history, and I remember quite clearly that there was no one on the board uh, who was against evaluating former general manager Rojas. On the contrary, we insisted that he be evaluated, and there was a faction on the board that refused to have the evaluation, not because he was leaving, because they didn't want to have the evaluation and did everything they could to stop it. I don't recognize as history anything that these men have just said. Madam Chair, I have a point of information. Yes. Um, has any uh, has any of this process that's been laid out here in this proposed interim general manager evaluation process has any has any work been done on this process as laid out here? No, because it hasn't been had been uh, actually passed on by the board. The committee can't leap forward. Okay, so nothing. Without having gotten, to go ahead from the board. No. Okay, so we're where we were in July. July. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. In June. In June, actually. June. Okay. Um. Any further discussion? <coughs> yes, our Paul. What good it does. Yeah. That should include. If people, if, if people can, if I may ask, that there is the, these form, there are these forms here that have been up on the web for all well, these many months, and if anybody has any suggested changes, I'm, I'm, you know, that's also a bunch of Okay, um, Paul. Yes. Yeah, in July I said this this motion is was bizarre. Then in July, it it proposes to evaluate the general manager for the period of November sixth, twenty o six through May 31st, 2007. So do we want to, do we really want to ignore everything that's happened since uh, June 1st? Could it be that there might be some new datum that may have come into people's consciousness in the past five months that might be relevant to the evaluation Mr. of an interim Mr. general Martin, manager. Martin, Is it possible? Mr. Martin, are so, you suggesting an amendment to change the I'm date? asking a question. I will thank the chair not to interrupt me. 
Uh, so is it possible that there might be something else? I mean, this, and furthermore, I agree with the other member that it certainly appears uh, that um, barring amazing malfeasance on the part of uh, higher ups in Pacifica, uh, there isn't going to be anybody uh, to evaluate for any period uh, pretty soon, and this is a waste of our time. Yes, Bob. Well, um, I would just remind everyone that this this motion was adopted by the uh, Management Evaluation Committee in June, right? So in June, it made total sense to have the cutoff be May 31st. Now that for a variety of reasons we're here in November, I would move to amend the date to um, uh, October 31st. Moved and seconded. Any discussion of changing the date? Any further discussion? Uh, yeah. Madam Chair. Yes. I would, I would repeat uh, in different words that changing the date for this motion is like rearranging the deck chairs in the Titanic. This motion should be discarded. It's not worth our time at this point. Okay. Um, any further discussion to, in the interest of uh, saving our valuable time? Ray, do you have some and you have a I distinctly yeah. remember uh, individuals uh, making statements or agreeing with the notion that we didn't no longer have to uh, evaluate uh, Don Rojas as GM. And not only, uh, I don't know that this board has done an evaluation like that. I would allow them to actually complete it, get the experience. And I'm sure people are saying something, saying I would be the first one to say that it was not completed. So I would just complete it possible. Yes. I have a point of information. Yes. I have, I also have um, some things to say about several points of this evaluation. The point of information is who composes the. Um, uh, I'd like to know what the composition is right now of the evaluation committee. Who's, who's I don't on? have the list with me. About not the names, right. but mem how many members of what entities are on the committee? Uh, entities. Yes, listeners, and unions, listeners, LSB, yes, there are, staff, there are, etc. There's, there's uh, yeah, there's some staff. There's some local station board members of the staff. There there's, are wait, other wait. local station board members, and there are listeners who are not local station board. There are local station board members who are listeners. There are local station board. Uh, there are listeners who are not local station board members. There's uh, some of a little of everything. There are listeners. Okay. There are listeners who are not local station board That's members. That's correct. As in most committees on the committees are open. So the committees are open. As as with mo not all, but most. No, no, no. I didn't realize that. Yes. that. I thought that was not allowed on the In the very beginning, back in the day. No, I understand that. But right now there are listeners who are non LSB members. That's on correct. Committee. And staff. And staff. And that's true of almost every committee. Yes. All right. Okay. Wait, a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Don't treat me like this. I'm sorry. I'm being treated contemptibly and it's contemptuously, and I don't deserve it. Now. <laughs> we both are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we cannot. It's a fact. Please, please refrain from, and, from, from uh, cross talk and interrupting the members. And please also, uh, all right. I'm I'm glad to know that I've, I'm I'm just very concerned about that. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, the other thing is, I don't uh, understand parts four and parts five. I, th and I think these, um, or especially part four, uh, interviews with department heads, program director, development staff, or I think this will inhibit us from getting information. I think these people should be able to make their recommendations and uh, positions uh, felt anonymously along with the rest of the staff. I don't know why it's a written interview. I know that there has been problem in the past with uh, requesting interviews with department heads. And they would rather yes, have... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Please do not interrupt. Please allow me to finish your point. You have whatever is left of your three minutes. Whatever is left of your three minutes. Please. Point four on the single sheet. And Okay, so you would prefer that the, that, that the department heads program director and development staff are... Um, uh, be able to either be able to number one submit uh, their evaluations yes. anonymous. Okay. Um, yes, somebody wants to respond to that if she may, Serene. I'd like to sec the second. In addition to in addition to being uh, able to participate in in the interviews, department heads and other staff will be 
send evaluation forms, which are always sent and uh, always returned anonymously. Oh, I see. So they do have an opportunity to uh, That's make part three. So they also make it better. So then their then their um, then their evaluation should at least be in writing. I don't see why they have to do it. I think this is inhibited getting an evaluation in the past. That's why I mm -hmm. would suggest. Uh, any other? Discussion? Bob? Yes? Yes? Okay, at the point of order. 9.15? Okay. Four minutes left in this discussion. Listener comments. Listener comments. Public comments. Push it up. It's got to be up. I remember the board presented a resolution using the word allege or alleges a few times. Another member of the board thinking to refine linguistic um, application made a distinction between fact and truth. Nothing in the amendment proposed had anything to say about either truth or falsity, so it was in sort of a state of limbo, it was ambiguous, it was neither here nor there, so that the point about fact being societal constructs struck me as astoundingly simplistic. Everything in the, dealing with the world and with people has to do with society. So I don't see that there's any really fine distinction between the word fact and the word truth. Because if one looks back at one's experience, and like most facts are true. That's a rug, that's a table, that's a, a speaker, this is a microphone, that's a piece of paper, these are facts. They are also true. Most facts are. It's the, yeah, I guess the thing is on. Uh, this is for Steve Brown's information where he would skip out of these Alice Bay meetings before comment time. A repeat. This is September 5th, 07. At 11.99. I think I was the last person to understand the reason behind the promo by Evelyn Sandino Rosa asking listeners to mail their pledge payments to WBAI in the envelope supplied or to address their own envelopes to the same official WBAI address. I wish I had been stated up front that it was because Steve Brown, via emails, asked his pledge funds to be mailed to him. True or false? Anyway, what's he up to? Sounds like some devious variety of foul play. Steve Brown or somebody enlighten me. Is his action considered tampering with the mails? Is it a, is it a, a prosecutable action? Was Steve Brown acting sanctioned by w Was Steve Brown's action sanctioned by WBAI? Does Brown have accomplices acting in concert for, pre for redirecting funds away from WBAI for whatever possible nefarious purpose? Has Steve Brown <laughs> stepped beyond the bounds of prudence and committed a criminal act? Is there an attorney in the house? <laughs> that is one. Do you have time for the second one that you missed out on? I'll give you another laugh. I can't wait. <laughs> okay. Again, is Steve Brown holding any pledge funds to WBAI? Question. Again, is there an attorney in the house? I would like a definitive answer. Is his action attempting to divert mail, WBAI pledge funds mail, sounds illegal to me, to, to this layman. Is it or isn't it illegal? That is the question. Even if it's not illegal, sounds imprudent, imprudent and at minimum a suspicious and, and suspicious in, in general. What would have been the purpose? I wonder if it had been, if it, if it has to do with the upcoming elections. Delivery, 
They're delivering them late and cut down on the voting. <laughs> voting numbers. The attorney in the house, Martin. Let me read you the notice on a piece of junk mail I received. You know, I haven't been answering the question of pro and con. Come to work. Are people trying to work here? Please. I can't read the stand. Read the next right. time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hold, hold, hold. So I still don't have a ballot. Most times. But a lot of people still don't have a ballot. And I've been in one. Read two. I don't have that ballot. I consider that a crisis. I consider the financial situation at the station a crisis. And I consider the interim general manager's situation a crisis. And yet, you sit here talking about things that go back all the way to May or June or whatever. I can't believe this. Next. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to reiterate, because not everybody was here all along, that there are people who work okay. just outside. And we have turned down the mics and we are asking people to keep their voices down. These are good acoustics. Everyone in the room can hear whoever is speaking. Okay. Next. Uh, BAI joined with George Bush in honoring the uh, Dalai Lama during the fun drive, celebrated the embrace of the Dalai Lama by Bush himself. And so it goes with Pacifica. Apparently, the Chinese Revolution of 1949 must be repudiated. Strangely, unlike the Cuban Revolution of 1959, ten years later. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Bush embraces the Dalai Lama. Yes, you laugh. The Black Panther Party. Please. Please not don't shout. Please don't. The Black Panther Party was seriously influenced while you laugh, okay, uh, by, excuse me, B-A-I-C-I-A. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. B-A-I is a, a home for right-wing social de democrats, some with lots of money like 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 Soros or the Ratners, right? <laughs> Here we are in Brooklyn. Michael Ratner owns a piece of the freaking Nets. <laughs> you talk about lawyers. You spit on the Chinese Revolution every chance you get, right? Time. Who are you? Time. Who are you? Thank you. <coughs> yes. I believe. I believe in every generation that falls. I believe. This is not working. Anyhow, that's not. Okay. I believe that at least one board meeting per month should be broadcast over the over the year, so the listeners can get a clear, transparent, and full broad range idea yeah, yeah. of what goes on at these meetings. I uh, subscribed. I pledged seventy-five dollars at this fund drive. Fifty for one program and twenty-five for another. I was insulted on the air by two of the producers who shall go unnamed because they are faceless, they are baseless, they are false, they are empty, vacuumous, uh, empty-headed goats. And what did I do? I got in touch with Evelyn, her name is Andino, not Sandino. Thank you. Evelyn Andino Rosa, and guess what, folks? I got every dollar back. I sent ten dollar check for a Baraka for Alambe Brad because I heard Kamal Kalfani come on with an elect electrifying email that Alambe had a stroke and could listeners listeners send money, his name and address and a sweet number and a zip. And I sent him ten dollars the following day. And that day that I mailed the check, I hear him on the radio. 
And I think, what is going on? Who is lying to me? Which is what this station does from top to bottom, the way it's currently organized. Lies, cheating, backbiting, backstabbing. Don't look at the Bush administration for all that. Hanky panky, look right okay. here. This station is the kernel of hypocrisy, lies, deceit, arrogance, vainglorious little vamps. And I suggest all yeah, listeners yeah. who subscribe pledge money, call Evelyn and Dina Rosa time, time. and get your money back. Time. I heard Alambe for a few seconds on BAI before I knew he had a stroke. There was slur in the speech, and he had great difficulty. And I said to myself, something's wrong with this man. You don't get over that by just coming on the air and slurring and speaking badly. So just remember that. It's going to cost a fortune to get him back to where he was, if we can get him back to where he was. You pay for it. Okay. All right, I'll help. Good. Somebody give me the address. 1845 Adam okay. Clayton Powell Boulevard. Oh, please Sweet 16, write that down. 10026. Okay. And I got, I'm getting my money back from him as Please well. Please give him that information afterwards. Okay. All right. So we're back on the motion on the interim general manager evaluation process. There's been an amendment to change it to October 31st. Yes. Also, uh, to change the interviews from the department heads to written statements. Written statements from department heads. Right. Also, I'm, I'm sorry, Bob, but there was something else I wanted to say. Um, I don't think um, it's, it's the, I mean, I think we have other things that are, that we should focus on perhaps before this, but I don't think an evaluation process of the interim general manager or anyone leaving for either short term or long term is, is a mistake. I think all of it gives us information and helps us understand the workings of the station and what can be done. Uh, you know, understands the history of the station and how to address it. Okay, no. thank you. Six. Okay, any further discussion? All right, so we'll take the second, we'll take the second amendment first. Please come to order. The second amendment is interview, uh, re, uh, re, uh, in part four changes, interviews with department heads, program director, and development staffer to written statements by department heads, program director, and development staffer. All those in favor? Well, who, 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 wait, who, who made that motion? That was Andrew. Yeah, Andrew. Okay. So how you um, all those in favor? One, two, three. All opposed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight. Thank you. What, what's the vote? Eight. Uh, three in favor, three eight opposed. Okay. All right. Um, then the second amendment is um, to change... November 6, 2006 through May 31, 2007 through October 31, 2007. Um, all those in favor? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All opposed? Okay, that carries. All right, so now the entire motion as amended you have before you. Can, in the interest of saving our valuable time, can we not reread it? And just come to a vote on the entire motion as amended. All those in favor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All opposed? Two. All right, that carries. And that, and that, and with it, the um, what you have here, the actual form, forms that people will fill out and return. Okay. All right. Next. Sure. Chair, we're now, yes. just uh, quickly, um, Alex Steinberg had to leave quickly, but he wanted me to give prior notice that he would like to rescind the motion establishing the GM search committee and prior notice amending the motions establishing the following standing committees, programming, management evaluation, MOF, and finance. So you've been given notice. Okay. All right. Um, for Nancy. Okay. Next on the agenda, <laughs> we're back to Bob. That's right, it is. Please come to order. Okay. Um, thanks to the helpful assistance of Amy Rosenberg, we were able to get on the web and, um, and print out the statement from Mitch Cohen to which I referred earlier. So I will read you the parts that I consider to be an allegation um, about misconduct. Um, 
Okay, this is his uh, posting on listenerforums.net, dated Monday, dated uh, yesterday, um, 4 12 a.m. And um, so he has a list of things that, are, uh, that he has proposed. And um, number one says, there be an immediate investigation to, to determine how it occurred that $5,153.24 was billed to WBAI for postage for the Justice and Unity campaign mailer and paid, it seems, by WBAI check 1037. And that a scanned copy of WBAI check 1037 be provided to the WBAI LSB and PNB and California Attorney General's office immediately. Now let me just point out that in that, what I just read, he has an allegation that is completely unproven, and that is that check 1037 is indeed a WBAI check rather than a check by someone else. That's the first allegation. Please come to order. Um, the next. The next uh, proposal says, once it is discovered which WBAI personnel or Pacifica National personnel approved payment of the bill for the Justice and Unity campaign election mailer, those persons' employment and others involved will be immediately terminated for cause. That contains the allegation that someone did approve payment. It doesn't say if it is discovered that personnel you know, approved payment. It says once it is discovered which personnel which is the allegation that it occurred, and we only have to find out which person authorized this payment. Um, the third allegation is, is really just the entire thrust of his proposed um, on-air cart, that, that a cart be aired eight times daily throughout the day so that it may, may be heard by a broad audience stating that, quote, the recent Justice Community Campaign election flyer was not authorized by WBAI. While members do have the right to use the WBAI mailing list to contact others about the election, they do not have the right to charge the expense to WBAI, and WBAI is prohibited by law from paying for any such mailings. An investigation is underway to determine how it occurred that the bill for the Justice Community election flyer was sent to WBAI, to WBAI and the amount that has been paid by WBAI for this mailing. Any sums paid by WBAI for this mailing must be immediately repaid to WBAI by the Justice and Unity Campaign, unquote. Um, that is filled with allegations that this occurred, and it clearly is meant to leave in the listener's mind that wrongdoing occurred and there needs to be measures to, um, to compensate for that. So there are more than, there are numerous allegations laced throughout Mr. Cohen's posting, and that is what prompts my motion. Yes. I have yes. a, a point uh, of, of order. Yes. Who would you have? Um, I have a point of order. We were told that the, at the beginning of this of this meeting that we had to leave at 9.30 sharp. We were told this by the vice chair, and it's now 9.32. Uh, Meeting? Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> we, <laughs> you're the person who uh, laid that down. I don't want to put, I mean... Ten more minutes? I, I mean, I don't... If you, if you need more time... Okay. Thank you. That's very well, serious allegations. Yes. Very generous. Very generous. I certainly understand the dismay at the JMC, how those allegations are very serious. But it seems to me that that, that posting, whatever it was, uh, mentioned that there is an investigation. I assume that, that what you want to happen is already going on, so why should we bother yeah. wasting time on this now? Yeah. All right, uh, Bob. Bob is, will respond to that question, and then um, then Ray. Mr. Cohen's posting was for the purpose of proposing that there be an investigation based on his claims that a payment had occurred. So this issue has now been put before the public so as if... Now, as no, 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 please, please let him finish. Post. Please let him finish. As if wrongdoing has occurred, and we just have to find out who did it and how did it happen. And therefore, I think it's incumbent on this board to formally ask that the Chief Financial Officer of Pacifica look into this, given that, as uh, Nia informed the board today, I believe, that in fact, the check that was paid, and, and um, I'd like to ask if Nia could be recognized to, to explain the, the real situation, that in fact, the check was not paid by WBAI, it was paid by herself. Board of order, Madam Chair. Yes. Time is up for this meeting. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess it's a good one. We already discussed that. Madam Chair, 
We passed an agenda that said we adjourned at 9.30. That's right. You know what we have to do. How many times before have you ever listened to that? this person in order over here. Hold on. If we want, if we want, please come to order. Yes. Please come to order. There's a motion to extend. How long? By 10 minutes. It has to get a two-thirds majority. Yep. Yes. All those in favor of extending by 10 minutes, please raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All opposed. One, two, three, four, five, six. That does not count. No. Okay, so we're done. I'm sorry, where'd you get six? Right over there. there one, two, three. three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm sorry, there's five, and how many are here? Nine? Nine. You make it ten. The chair votes, yes. That we're does extended. carry. We have a ten minute extension. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Never do that, Matt. Me, yeah, please. And then Ray. Shows. All right. Well, what, what information? I just want to ask the, the proposer of that motion. So, uh, so, in effect, your motion plans to execute Mitchell's suggestion on that post to have an investigation? Not at all. His is an investigation based on allegations that we're about to hear that have no basis and no foundation to them, whatever. Oh, I'm asking for the CFO <laughs> to look into the facts and and bring forward to this board and to the public what the real facts are. Okay, Mia okay. okay. and then Ray. Yeah. Okay. How much time do I have? Very little. How much time do we have left on this item? Mm -hmm. All right. You got my one. <laughs> what was it? We had eight minutes. One minute. Please come to order. One minute on the items. There's one minute on the item. Madam Chair? Yes. I move that we extend on this item for nine minutes. Okay. All in favor of extending order. Yes. I'm sorry. How could there only be one minute? This was 15 minutes. It was 15 minutes and we had eight left. We just started. You're right. No, we started. We were talking about this before the. We started it at 9.29. Five minutes? Okay, so we started at 9.29. We had eight minutes left. It's now 9.36. No, you have not been I am helping. Well, okay. Madam Chair, point of order then, if you want. Yes. What I just said, we started this at 9.29, it's now 9.36. I'm suggesting in the, in the, in the interest minutes. of saving time, I just move by nine minutes. There's a motion to be moved and seconded to extend by nine minutes. Is there any objection to extending by this discussion by nine minutes? All right. Okay. Mia, you're this on. This is the timekeeper. I just want to get this right. Nine minutes. I want to hear what she has to say. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to say anything different from, from what I wrote in, in my email. I was just described a while ago as being pompous. Now, I've never Please had anybody ignore that. Okay. It describes me as pompous. So I'll try my best not to be pompous. But what I will be is truthful. Um, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, this, as I said in the email, this check for KP Corporation, the woman Lisa Mendez, she acknowledged that there was a mistake. There's nobody on this board that has ever had wrong mail come into their house. Nobody on this board has ever had a wrong invoice come into them. You know, but I, I certainly have. So um, the, this business about the check number uh, 1037, it is absolutely not a WBAI check number. That is the check number from the Justice and Unity checking account. The check number... Mm -hmm. Um, 1038 for this thousand twenty dollars that's creating all this excitement is also from Justice and Unity. And if you pay attention, you will see that the numbers run sequentially. Due to an error on KB Corporation's part, actually they had two errors, that's why there were two checks. And obviously, if they run sequentially, that, be, that should tell you, well, for me, at least common sense tells me, that there is no impropriety there. I mean, this, 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 this. this why would we, why would Justice and Unity pay $5,000 but bill WBAI for 1020 It does not make any sense whatsoever. And I know firsthand because I am the person who sent the check. Amen. Ray, I said I would call it Ray. Well, I strongly support this motion. I think that uh, given the long history of the uh, what is it called? The majority, the current mi minority, uh, in in you know distortion of facts. And that this particular, this particular piece there 
not only is inaccurate and irresponsible, but actually called for an investigation from the Attorney General of the State of California. Oh, so it's at this time that we set the record that. straight. And maybe that will be the beginning of many more. Yes, let's have an investigation by the Attorney General of a lot of things. Nia once more, and then. Um, I said that's what it is. Excuse me. Please don't uh, if you're going to have a conversation, take it outside. And I'm, uh, Nia, I'm sorry, I have to ask you once again not to characterize by a, you know, the, the motivation of the... Okay. 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 okay, 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 then they apologize for that. Okay, thank you. This, this wonderful list, sir, may I give compliments? <laughs> this, this wonderful list, sir, that this thing was posted on, which um, has already been forwarded to me, and from what I understand, it has been taken down that somehow that maybe the money came from me and the treasurer of, um, of WBAI, which is, as, as the world knows, is Baruchi Beriako. I would just like to just set the record straight, you know. It's really funny how when people do things, they don't, um, I don't think they realize. You, you, there's a saying, you never know who's watching you. So the fact to take it down, it's already, the link is already sent to me. But well, that's, that's another discussion. I just thought that might be some interesting tidbit that somebody might like to have. Okay. Any further? Yes. 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 Yeah, two points of information. Does anybody know why this invoice was sent to, B, to BAI? Why would KP Printing House send something to, to um, Yvonne? And the second one is, does anybody know what the Association Center of New York is, the title of the firm? It's the name of the building. Oh, wait, wait. I'm, Elementary can research. Can I please speak? Sorry. Yes. yes. Okay. We have a plethora. What the of Association people. Center of New York is, why it was on the, the invoice. Thank you. Okay. So Nia has the answer to that question. Okay. It was on the, the invoice because, like the woman said in her email, that she made a mistake. I mean... I really didn't uh, really badger the woman. I knew it was an obvious mistake. But it sounds like maybe they looked it up on... I, I don't know, because when you look it up, that building is called the Association of whatever that thing is. Since the... Uh, since it's a 19... Whatever, whatever. So it's been there before um, WBA. And we'll, yeah, so, so I think that's probably where she got... I don't know. I don't want to speculate. My concern was that somehow this information was sent to BAI, and then you know we're being accused of using BAI's money. So I didn't, I, I, that means, I didn't really care about that. Okay, Lisa hasn't yeah. spoken. Lisa hasn't yeah. spoken yet. Yeah. And and then Serene. <coughs> of course, I cannot speak to an error that somebody else made when they sent something, but I can only assume that this is a mailing house that specifically use it. It's kind of standard that they've been using it. They have accounts and stuff like that. They, as WBAI, have used them. So I can just, one can infer from this information that if they have a standard account, and this is the mailing house that the, the foundation uses and it, its stations, that maybe they thought somehow with WBAI that it would go to them. So that, but you know, can't be, can't really answer for people who are not here. But that would be, they had, they saw the name WBAI, they had WBAI, and they probably just, I think it's kind of, you know, simple myself. Okay, um, our, our bare time, our time, so we need to bring this to a vote. Um, okay? There's a motion to extend by three minutes. How many people want to speak? One, two, three, and you, and four. Four wish to speak that one. And four minutes, and each person gets a minute. Is there any objection? All right, our call. One minute. Uh, yeah, basically, sure, let's have it investigated. A lot of things ought to be investigated. One question is, is WBAI having stuff regularly printed by a printing house in California? That sounds odd, and I sure as hell hope we're not doing that because, you know, we have, there are, there's more than one printer in New York State. <laughs> okay, uh, next would be, who is next? Who wanted to speak as spoken? Um, Green and Bob. I just have a question. I'd like to maybe in the first investigation find out, uh, maybe not who released the information, but how did Mr. Cohen come into information that actually belongs to the internal process of WBAI? That's the question. I'm sorry, well, that would be an amendment. How did Mr. Cohen come to, to, 